sound of victory hallelujah eh. hallelujah oh, oh let the sound of rejoicing feel this hey hallelujah hallelujah, eh. hallelujah. Hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, oh, to let the sound, let the sound, from rejoicing fill this house. He has done for me what no man can do. He will do for you what no man can do. Hallelujah, eh, hallelujah, oh, let the sound. Of rejoicing, feel this. Hallelujah! 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 It's the sound of victory. Today I just came as John the Baptist, hence the hair and the beard. Because if you saw John the Baptist in those times, he would look exactly like me. So I came as John the Baptist to prepare the way for the men and women of God that are going to bless us tonight. Oh come on, is somebody ready to receive what's about to take place tonight? Listen. I give you permission. If the person sitting next to you, it seems like their faith or their energy is too low and you need to be around someone whose energy is high, you can move. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. If you're moving, just tell the person, don't be offended. I just, I just, I, I mean business tonight. I, I need business tonight. Hallelujah. You can take your seat for a minute. Singers, don't run away. <laughs> Tonight, you're on job for 24 hours. Amen. Oh, come on. Are we blessed to be here tonight? Are we blessed to be here tonight? Tonight is day one of the Awakening Conference. And we want to, like I said, start how we want to finish. I know and I believe that God is about to do something in this conference. You know, I've been to many conferences, but this one last night, was it last night? Yes. Last night, right? Yeah. Last night, you should see how many people came together for hours praying so that you will not leave here the same. Praying that God will have his way in this conference. So I know that something is about to take place. And tonight, we're blessed to have 
the ministry of Minister Sambella tonight. Come on, somebody make some noise for Minister Sambella tonight. We also have the amazing sister of mine, Minister Deborah. Darling, make some noise. All right, so before we kick off, I need to know where people are coming from because some people came from far. Who think that they, you know, came from the furthest away? I heard you. Where did you come from? Nottingham. Can we clap for her? Nottingham, make some noise! Any people from North London? Oh, say North, Northwest. As long as there's North in there, it's all North. Any people from Northwest London? All right, all right. Okay. West London? Okay, may God bless us financially so that we can live in West London. <laughs> Any people from East London? Wow, two people. It, it, it doesn't complete. It must be Father, Son, and Holy Ghost at least. Now this one, we have Father and Son. Any people from South London? Yeah, 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 yeah. South London is in the house. All right, all right. So, so far, it seems like Nottingham is the furthest. But... Can I get some noise from the people from the United States of America? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, they came with energy. This one is called Minister of Enjoyment, so you can tell. <laughs> they came with energy, so UK, please, let's not embarrass ourselves. Let's show them that we have the energy. Come on, UK people, make some noise! Come on, come on, come on. And tonight, because we want to take our protocol away before we kick off, tonight we have amazing musicians in the house. We have Bishop Fernando Correal in us! Make some noise! We have the one sitting there, the fine young gentleman. He's still single. Make some noise for Ade! <laughs> and we have on this place the bass man himself. Mr. Mark Lang! Make some noise! And this man, I always tell him to be humble, the one on the drums. So please join me tonight. If you see him misbehaving, just give him a lift so he can humble himself. Can we make some noise for Mr. Dummy? Make some noise! All right, so we're not going to waste time. Can we make way for the minister of God that is going to take us to another level? Tonight, they're going to flow. That's why I've introduced them, Minister Sambella and Minister Deborah Darling. They're going to take us to another level. Are we ready for that? Come on, are we ready for that? Musicians, are we ready for that? So without wasting much time, I want to invite on my brother, the man of God himself, Minister Samuel. Bella! Come on, bless the name of Jesus. Come on, can you stand up as we bless him this evening? Father, we give you glory. Come on, without any music, can you just begin to lift up your voice and just begin to bless the name of the Lord? Father, we are here because of you. We are here. Father, we have no other agenda. We have no other desire but to meet with you tonight. Yes. We have no other agenda. We have no other desire, no longing, no wanting. We didn't come here to meet friends. We didn't come here to meet one another. Even though that is good and it's good for brethren to dwell together in unity. But there is something more important and that's when a people come to encounter God. That's when a people come hungry, come desperate. For we understand the Bible says, they that hunger and thirst for righteousness shall be filled. And we know today, even as we have come for an awakening, we will be filled with the Spirit of God. We'll be filled with the power of God, will be filled with the weight of God, will be filled with the glory of God. Father, we're grateful for your presence. We're grateful for your power. You are grateful, God, that you are even here now. For the Bible says where two or three are gathered in your name, there in the midst you will be. So, Father, we say we are grateful for your presence. We're grateful for your love. We're grateful for your power. Yes, God. We're grateful. We're grateful. We're grateful. With a grateful heart, we come. Come. Um. 
with a grateful mind we come with a grateful desire we come and we know that you will meet with us as we have come here we thank you for your goodness we thank you for your mercy we thank you for your love we thank you thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, can we just do that? Just and say, tell him thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. There is something that gives us access into the presence of God, and that is thanksgiving. Come on, say thank you, thank you. There is something as you begin to release this thanks, you are translated from the outer court into that very holy place there is a password as the message translation says that gives you access into the presence of God and it is very act of thanksgiving thank you Jesus thank you 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 oh we thank you Jesus oh we thank you Jesus oh
understand as the Levite sang this, the glory of God filled the temple. We say you are good, oh. Come on, the glory of God will fill this place. As we sing it out to the Lord. As we sing it to the King of Kings. As we sing it to the Lord of Lord. You are good, say Nahana. Yeah, Nahana. We ascribe it unto him. We give glory to the Lord. We say you are good. And your mercy forever. Oh, we say hallelujah. Say you are good all the time. Yes, you are. I feel the glory of God in this room. Come on. Oh, oh. say you are good, Jesus. You are good. And good. Always. The Bible says everywhere you went, you were doing good. Would you walk in this room this evening and do good in the midst of your people? Say you are good. Oh, oh.
you're never gonna let, you're never gonna let me down. Yeah. You're never gonna let, you're never gonna let me down. You're never gonna let, you're never gonna let me down. See, you're never. gonna let me down see you're never
the right hand of the Father. Making intercession on our behalf. You are Jesus. Come on, we see him as the enthroned one. You are Jesus. And all creation bows before you. All of heaven sings about you. You are Jesus. Come on, would you open your eyes and see him on the throne? You are Jesus. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. The King of Glory, you are Jesus. Come on, you are on the throne. I see him enthroned. We give you glory. I wish you would see him high and lifted up. And the honor. See you are the Lord. Come on, say let your name.
Let your name. You are the Lord. Let your name. Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. Just reverence him right now. Reverence him. Give him the fruit of your lips. Give him the fruit of your lips. The word of God says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. So the breath that you have in your body right now, give it back to him. Give it back to him. Give it back to him. Oh, we reverence you, Jesus. We reverence you, Jesus. We exalt your holy name. We exalt your holy name. For you reign and there is none like you. There is none that comes before you. And there is none that comes after you. For you are God and you are God alone. For you are God and you are God alone. Nobody can take your place. Nobody can be compared unto you. For you make the impossible possible. You are the beginning and you are the end. You are the alpha and you are the omega. You are the lion, let you are the lamb. There is no one like our sovereign God, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. El Shaddai is your name. Elohim is your name. Adonai is your name. Adonai is your name. Jehovah is your name. Matete keda babo shata da da da. Oh, we reverence you, Jesus. Oh, and so reign, Jesus reign. Ha, so reign. Jesus reign You are the King of Zion To the Zion reign Oh Jesus reign Oh reign Jesus reign
you are, yes, you are, yes, you are, yes, you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty, you are mighty, you are mighty,
Masiki anana masiki reka na mora rika na 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 masiki ana. song that we'll sing that see what the Lord has done hey see what the Lord has done what we've waited for hey see what the Lord hey everybody says see See somebody getting married, say. See what the Lord has Everything that you waited has come. Oh, see what the Lord I need you to look at your neighbor and tell them, say, see what the Lord has. is changing I will no longer be broke it has come see what the Lord can we do something just of voices clap your hands and say see what the Lord What is happening? The heavens are being broken open. Hey! See what the Lord For your sake, the Lord will not sit still. What we waited, waited for day one. See what the Lord. I need some crazy people to jump with me and go crazy if you know your testimony is coming. See what. Yes, band, you are in the spirit. See what the Lord. See what the Lord has done. See what has come to pass. See what the Lord. Sing it one more time. Say, see what the Lord has done. I will see, I will see what the Lord What we wait on See what 
the coming of the Messiah. For years she dwelt there. She never moved. So can you imagine the day they came to tell her that Jesus has been born. Isaiah said the government shall be upon his shoulders. Can you imagine the woman going, see what the Lord has done. Because people must have been laughing at her find something to do but she said listen I know what I'm believing God for I know what I'm praying for and day one of this conference I don't know what your prayer is I don't know what you're believing God for but God is looking for those who shall worship him in spirit and in truth God is looking to bless somebody so that you will be a blessing to his people come on do I have some people to lift up their voice and say it is me Lord There is nothing you cannot do. There's no mountain you cannot move. If you have said it, then you will do it. You've got a track record of keeping your word. You're not about to stop doing it now there is nothing you cannot do there's no mountain he cannot move if he has said it then he will do it he's got a track record of keeping his word you're not about to stop doing it now. Oloru Agbaye, you are mighty, oh. Oloru Agbaye, you are mighty, oh. Shebi walo for juru cha shobura. Shebi walo for juru. Sometimes you need to remind yourself there is nothing that is impossible for God to do. The awakening conference, I need you to lift up your expectation. Oh, come on. I need someone to lift up their expectation tonight. Come on, come on. Lift up. Let the atmosphere hear that witch. Oh, come on, come on. Somebody open up your mouth. Somebody open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Come on. Open up your mouth, open up your mouth. For God is about to do something. God is about to do something. Tonight I need people that are saying that enough is enough. What God has said will come to pass. Tonight is day one, so we need to control ourselves. Amen. Pastor Richard, it's good to see you. And woman of God, I've seen you on social media, but it's been a blessing to see you. But God is about to do something strange. I said something what? Something what? Woo. How many of you are believing God for something strange? Something that, you know, I want a miracle that is unbelievable. That even me, when the miracle happens, I'll be like, hey. You know when, uh, this is why I do this. Is, this is why I do. <laughs> so, have you ever been there when some strange money entered your account? Strange, strange. No matter the amount, it just entered your account. You know the first thing I do? I transfer it straight into my savings. <laughs> just by you know the way it strangely came, maybe it strangely goes back out. So I make it strangely go into my savings so that no one. Uh, so if anyone calls you and say, oh, money has accidentally, who, no, it's me. <laughs> I haven't seen anything. You get it? You don't get it? Forget about it. 
Amen. Take your seat. Come on. Are you blessed to be here today? Come on. Are you blessed to be here tonight? Thank you. Can we clap for our singers tonight and a band tonight? Come on. Make some noise. Today is day one. And I know that God is about to do something awesome in our midst tonight. Our London people, we know that they are just watching to see what happens tonight. But something great is going to happen because you're here tonight. And tonight we don't want to waste too much time. We're going to quickly take announcement. And after that we'll take an offering. So after the announcement is done, I'll be back again. So please don't get tired of seeing my face tonight. Um, we'll take our offering before the set man that God has brought into this land to be a blessing to us will be a blessing to us. But before I need to observe protocol, the men and the women of God in the house, amen. Oh, amen. amen. If I don't, I'm not able to mention your name. Forgive. Amen. Can we make noise for Minister Sambella? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Can we make some noise for Minister Samuel Bella? I call him the Ravenos minister because he's powerful. Amen. Can we make some noise for my sister Deborah Darling? <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing. Let me come to this side. I don't know, but tonight the Americans are making more noise than UK. I think UK is for normal bread. You're tired, eh? No, I understand. Some of you are coming from work, but the Lord is good. Amen. Amen. So let me start from this side. Woman of God, can you please tell me your name? Wow, so we have two Deborahs in the house. Come on, can we make some noise for the woman of God, Deborah Alexis. God bless you so much. Woman of God. Woo. Pastor Thomas. Can we make some noise for Pastor Tosin here? Amen. Can we make some noise for my brother here, Pastor Richard? Make some noise! I've heard he's the deliverance bulldozer, so any demon that has been tormenting you by this conference is gone. Amen. Can we make some noise for prophetess? Ikea, Lady Ikea in the house. Make some noise! The man of God will come there, but have some special people from the States. Please, can you be on your feet for VFC members and leaders? Come on, make some noise for the Victory Faith Chapel members. Listen, they traveled with their man of God from America all the way here. Some of you, when your pastors are traveling, you too travel with them. Amen. And tap into what God is doing in their lives. Amen. So without wasting too much time, let's invite... Um, our sister Benny to come and give us the announcement. Good evening, everyone. Are you happy to be here today? Yeah. No, you don't sound convincing. Are you happy to be here today? Yeah. Amen, amen. So welcome to the first annual London Awakening Conference um, hosted by SAB Ministries under the leadership of Reverend Seth Amwar Barting, who is also the senior pastor of Victory Faith Chapel International. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And he's also the president of SAB Ministries. So welcome again. So this is a three-day event. So we're going to be here Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 6 to 10 p.m. Um, so please be sure to attend and invite any family members and friends. You need to be here because you do not want to miss it. Amen. And again, we just want to honor all the men and women of God that are here today and um, the people that have come from America. God bless you. God bless you. Um, so stay tuned because it's going to be a jam-packed day. And I would say come expectant because God is going to move today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So I'll hand back to my brother. Amen. Can we make some noise for our sister right now in the mighty name of Jesus? Some of you have never seen me as an MC before, have you? People don't want me to be MC because, oh, my brother, I love you too. May God give you more beard. Amen. 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 So we're going to give. Come on, somebody say give. 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 
see how everyone's faces. Everyone's looking down. Make eye contact. I said give. So there are ways that we can give. I believe they're going to put it on the screen. Tonight, there's no excuse. Online banking. There's cash app. They, they have the bank account that you can put it in. If you, you say, oh, I forgot cash, there's a swipe machine here. Whatever you do will collect your money. Because this conference being put on, you know everything costs money, right? Oh, come on, right? So are we going to give? Are we going to give? I'll make sure that everyone comes to me with their receipt. And if I'll check the amount, we don't want widow's might. We want the, the blessing of the rich man, amen. But I want us to give because when it comes to the things of God, it's expensive. You know, the sound, the lighting, the musicians, um, Minister Sambella, Minister Deborah Darling, myself, we are expensive. If you don't believe it's me, I'm saying it to myself. You must put value on yourself, amen. I minister a lie because the days of God bless you, which is jollof rice, drumstick, meat pie, super malt, it's over. After COVID, COVID cleared it all away. Amen? Oh, amen. So are you going to bless the work? Because some of you were the reason why Banner Boys sold out uh, Arena. So you pay tickets for that. This one is free. So we'll collect. Amen. So are we ready to give? If you're ready to give, let's be on our feet. Amen. So where are the card machines so that we know? Oh, so my sister is there. If it's, is it contactless as well? Oh, wow. Quick, sharp. Amen. Yeah, please, can we put the giving details on the screen? Do we have the giving details? What's the cash app? Oh, some people are touching card already. God bless you. They'll put, please, can we get the details on the screen? You have done so much for me. I cannot tell it all. Everybody say. Dip into your pocket and give the Lord some blessing. If he has done so much for you, then you have to give it all. Everybody say, Oh, what shall I render unto Jehovah? For he has done, for he has done so very much for me. What shall I render unto Jehovah? Oh, come on, let me hear you. He is the Lord. He has done so very much for me. Sing, Nara, Nara. Nara, Nara. Nara, Nara. One more time, Nara, Nara. Tell it all, everybody say. Oh, if I had ten thousand tongues, it still won't be enough. Let me hear you say. Oh, what shall I render? Hey, for he has The bucket goes around unto Jehovah. He is the
don't turn back because I want to see my Jesus someday. I've got my mind made up and I won't turn back because I want to see my Jesus someday. I've got my mind and I won't because I want to Someday I've got my mind, my, 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 my day. and I won't, and I won't because I want to. Say goodbye, world. I stay no longer. Goodbye, pleasure. I stay. I made up my mind to go. The rest of my life made up my mind. Let's try this last one. We're in your presence. Let it rain. Pour your rains. Let it fall on me. Let me hear you say, We're in your presence. Let it rain. God bless you as you're giving. Let it fall. See, open, open the floodgates in abundance. Cause your rain to fall. Open the floodgates in abundance. Cause your rain. for her as she comes to the microphone. Yes. Father, we thank you for every seed that has been sown today. Pray that anyone who has given, whether it's card, cash, um, cash app, we pray over the seeds. We pray that, Father, may you water the seeds. May you speak into every aspect of their life. Anyone who's experienced any dry, drought or dryness, Father, may this seed speak for them, Father. May they say that when they came to this conference, that when they even gave offering, when they sowed the seed, whatever it is that they did, Father, may this program speak. May it be a receipt in heaven for them. In Jesus' mighty matchless name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Oh, can we clap our hands for the woman of God? Look at your neighbor and say, it is time. Oh, come on, say, it is time. Ask them, are you ready? Oh, one more time. Are you ready? Ask someone else. Are you ready for what is about to happen? So before I introduce the man of God, I want us to be on our feet for two minutes. We're just going to pray because this is a man of prayer. Oh, come on, say, this is a man of prayer. So we want to pray. I don't know what you came in here for. I don't know what you're believing God for. The man was at the well, at the poolside, for 38 years. But it took one encounter for him to receive his healing. 
Some of you say, but I've gone conference to conference. I've been from service to service. That's what the man said. I've been here. And every year I see people receiving their healing, but it seems like me, nothing is happening. How many of you can relate? That it seems that people are getting blessed. These days we have social media. You see someone say, oh, I'm 21 and I just got my new house. And some of you, we are looking at our age. We are looking at the gray hair in our beards. And we are saying, when I was 21, I can't remember what I was doing. I don't even have the keys to my own house. But we want to say that, Lord, by the time I leave this conference, let something shift in my life. Let something change in my life. Because, listen, you know a conference was successful by the testimonies that come out of it. So we want to pray. Maybe you may forget the songs that we sang. But we pray that God let us not forget the impact that we received tonight. Come on, somebody open up your mouth and begin to pray right now. Come on, lift up your expectation. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Hey, Lord, we don't want to go back the same, Lord. Come on, somebody open up your mouth. Open up your mouth, open up your mouth. Open up your mouth, open up your mouth. Oh, come on, I cannot feel prayer in the house. Open up your mouth, begin to lift up. Lift up, lift up your expectations before God. Father, we know that we will not live here the same. Lord, I pray that may I know that Lord, you are God. Let your angels, let your presence come into this room. Let them be deliverance. Let them be healing. Let them be of our unquestionable testimonies that will let people know that indeed, hey, come on, somebody open up your mouth. One more minute, come on. Pray, 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 pray. One more minute, come on, pray. May we not miss what God wants to do tonight. May we not miss our blessing tonight. May we not miss our touch tonight. May we not miss what God has for us tonight. May we not miss. May our eyes be open. May our ears be open to hear the voice of the Lord. For us to know that indeed God has spoken. Father, we know that our lives will no longer be the same. The UK will will never be the same because of your presence because of your power because of your blood father we give you glory in the mighty name of Jesus the man of God that I'm about to introduce I have tasted of his ministry I have you know I'm not gonna lie when I would see some people pray, you know, as people who worship and lead worship and all of that, we, oh, you know, I may not know how to pray long, but I know how to worship. Listen, if you can't pray, you pay the price. So I remember they had a conference a few months ago, and I went there, and my God, <laughs> I've never seen people pray like that. Just opening prayer. Some of us, you know, we go by, you know, let's give God thanks. Then after we go to let's pray for forgiveness. No, 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 no. They, they're from zero to 100. Higher, 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 higher. That's the kind of prayers I experience. And usually, you know, some of us will look outside and think, what, what are these people doing? But it's so infectious. By the time I left the place, ah, my spirit was gingered. My spirit, I never experienced it. But something took place in my life. And I know that tonight, that infectiousness of the presence of God will hit the UK tonight. Oh, come on. Did you come here prepared? I said, that prayer is going to hit you tonight. The man that I'm about to introduce carries the word. Carries prayer. And he carries the prophetic oil of God. I've seen deliverance. I've seen healing take place right in his presence. So I know that tonight, whatever burden you came with, you're going to receive the answer to your prayer. So without making much noise, let's make the most noise the UK. Let's give a welcome to the one, the only, the prophet, the bishop, bishop, pastor, Sam. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. One, one thing that I don't want you to do is to think this is how God, God, is, God is going to move. God is going to surprise you tonight. Don't have it in your mind. This is how God is going to move. God is going to move and have such an impression on your life that you have never experienced before. We did not come all the way from Florida to, to play. I believe that something supernatural is going to happen in your life. Sometimes we are expecting God in the volcanic eruption and he's not there. Sometimes in the storm but he's not there. And he comes in the still small voice. And I don't want you to have a certain way. I don't know. I feel that in my spirit. That some of you are expecting God to, if God doesn't move this way, then he didn't move. If, if we, 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 we're trying to equal revival to people falling and screaming. It's beyond that. You're about to receive something tangible. That when you leave this place, you will know that you have truly been awakened. Can you lift up your hands? I'm out of my belly shall flow rivers rivers of living waters out of my belly shall flow rivers rivers of living waters out of my belly shall flow out of my belly shall flow shall expression but let me give you a reason to shout 
You see, in the Greek language, the word shouting is keliusma. Everybody shout keliusma. It's a cry of incitement to cause the dead to resurrect. That's, that's one of the meanings. A cry of incitement to cause the dead to resurrect. That is why the Bible said the Lord himself shall descend with a shout. And with the cry and the trump of the archangels, what will happen? The dead in Christ will rise first. That means that when there is that cry, what responds first is something that is dead. Then those that are alive shall be caught up, but the dead resurrected. And the Bible said when Jesus stood at the tomb of Lazarus, he looked at the tomb and with a loud cry, he said, Lazarus, come forth. It was a cry. And the Bible was specific to say with a loud cry. And the Bible said, he that was among the dead came alive. One thing I love about this scripture is, Jesus did not shout, come forth. Please give me a preacher's mic little base. Hallelujah. He said, Lazarus. You know, Jesus is the resurrection and the life. If he had said, come forth, Elijah could have come forth. <laughs> Moses could have come forth. And all the dead people would have re responded because the Messiah had spoken. But Jesus was specific to, to mention a name so that the person who the miracle is for alone can receive it and the Lord said tonight there is a miracle with your name on it there is a testimony with your name on it so that no witch from your mother's house can grab that thing am I in church at all and so one of the reasons why we shout is so that things in our life can come alive and the Lord said that as we lift up a holy cry Something that is dead in your life will come back hey! to life. Dead businesses are coming to life. Hey! Dead relationships are coming to life. Hey! Dead finances are coming to life. Hey! Your prayer life is coming to hey! life. Can you shout? Hey! Hey! You are not shouting. You are memorizing. He can't have a shot I can't I say your miracle in your soul.
Yeshua Hamashiach Lion of Judah Hakune Chema Yeshua Yeshua
cancer must live your life. by the fire and the power of the Holy Ghost and by the power of prayer you have two more minutes of God have already taken their place. <laughs> Things are opening up for people. Things are opening up for people already. Mahakatu.
-hmm. The resistance is broken. Yes. The limitations are removed. Yes. If you are sensitive, you will catch something in the atmosphere. God is already releasing stuff before the word of God comes. Your miracle is already released. The spirit of prayer has come. In the last days, the spirit and the power of Elijah shall be released. And I see that anointing being released here right now. The spirit of Elijah is the spirit of prophecy. And the power of Elijah is the power of prayer. For thou shalt lose the thing, and it shall be loosed in heaven. And what thou shalt bind on the earth shall be bound in the heaven. My God. Aye, aye, aye. Soft. Aye. Up your head. Aye, aye, aye. My God. My God. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah. 
is living here with a testimony Lord and we thank you for the many testimonies that is reigning in this place can someone clap your hands and take your seat in the name of Jesus hallelujah I have a few minutes amen but that was good wasn't that good I think I'll preach for only 10 minutes today I plan to preach for about 45 to 50 minutes but I love to follow the leadings of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I want to acknowledge all the men and women of God again. Let's celebrate the men and the women of God in this place. And I want you to clap for yourself for coming tonight. This is our first ever conference in the United Kingdom. And I want to appreciate all of you, especially the team. We will acknowledge them later on during the course of this conference for a great work done. Hallelujah. I want to preach a, um, a message I've entitled, What is in Your Hands? What is in Your Hands? The theme for the conference is the resurrection power. And so let me be very snappy. Hallelujah. Ask your neighbor, What is in Your Hands? One of my philosophies in ministry is everyone has been called to do something for God. The day you received Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, you became a candidate for miracles. The working of miracles, signs, and wonders. It is not reserved for pastors, prophets, apostles, and teachers only. It is for everybody. Someone will say that, well, I don't know what I've been called to do. Um, I believe I'm called to be a doctor. Yes. The Bible said these signs shall follow them that believe. They shall what? Cast out devils in my name. They shall heal the sick. They shall raise the dead. They shall speak in other tongues. This is for those that believe. How many believers do we have in the house? No, only three believers. I want real believers. If you're a believer, shout a big amen. amen. Hallelujah. So these signs shall follow them that believe. That believe. So the day you became a believer, you are a candidate and an instrument in the hands to cast out devils, to heal the sick. I am tired of seeing believers who are 10 years in the Lord and we are still doing deliverance on them. 
I'm tired of seeing believers who are who, people who are five years in the Lord and they are still depressed, having dreams of cockroaches chasing them and calling pastor at night to pray for them. I'm tired of seeing that kind of believers. I'm believing God for a stirring in the body of Christ where the body will begin to minister to each other. That when someone is sick, you don't need to call pastor. You yourself pray for the person and you will see results. See, until we come to that place to believe that we are called to do that, and it's not reserved for certain special people, you will call yourself a pastor, a pastor, a prophet to believe that you can do it. But no, these signs will follow them that believe. Hallelujah. Until you believe that God can use you to do wonders, he will never use you. But everything you need to walk in the supernatural is in your hands. Ask your neighbor what is in your hands. After this conference, one of what would make me happy is not you just being healed or we casting a demon out of you. I, I, I think that that level of testimony, we've passed that stage. But I'm praying that you shall receive an anointing and you will go to your workplace as a manager, as a teller, whatever you are, and somebody will walk in there with a wheelchair and you lay hands and the person will. That is, what I, that, that is going to be my joy. That I, I went to an awakening conference and after that time, even when someone is sick and I hug the person, the person get healed. You see, in the Old Testament, when you meet a leper and the leper touches you, you become unclean. But in the New Testament, by the unction of God, when you touch a leper, the leper becomes clean. Are you here with me? The equation has changed. I'm praying for that time where you will be among fornicators, drug addicts, and you will not be influenced, but you will influence them. You'll be so infectious with the anointing, anyone that becomes your friend for three hours will become a prayer warrior. Oh, how many hours must it take to catch the coronavirus when you get close to someone with coronavirus? Instantly. Seconds. You, you greet the person, you know tomorrow you'll be sick. By the time I say hi, how are you doing? I give you high five. You sleep and wake up praying in tongues. Maybe I'm in the wrong church today. Are you here with me? May you receive that anointing in the name of Jesus. I came to awaken something. You see, we only wake those who are sleeping up. There is something in you that is sleeping. That is why we are here. Maybe this revival might not be for everybody. But there are some people who are nation movers. Community transformers. People that have been called for the nations. People that have been called to make impact for the Lord. That one person is here today. Am I in church at all? Ask your neighbor what is in your hands. I got that bacteria. Where is the God of Elijah? And God is saying, where are my Elijahs? Where is the God of Moses? And God is saying, where are my Moses? You are waiting on God whilst God is waiting on you. He's waiting on you to take the move and he will meet you there. What is in your hands? Let me be very quick. Exodus 4. It's not by might. Can I get a reader? Exodus 4. Prophetess, can you read for me? Um, who has a microphone? It's not by power, but by my spirit. You will be blessed. This conference. If you know someone who is sick, bring the person to church. Your amen is not born again. If you know someone who is demonized, bring the person. Tomorrow is going to be wild here. Hallelujah. Amen. The man of God will be ministering and for him, demons know him. All the demons in hell, they know him. Because most of them that went from the earth to hell went there because of him. Because he cast them out of people. Very anointed in the deliverance and healing ministry. It's going to be wonderful tomorrow night. And Sunday is going to be awesome. 
Mama, shut. I feel, I feel an anointing here. If you, you are going to catch something, you will not be an ordinary believer anymore. Amen. Having a car won't be a testimony again. It won't be a testimony again. It will be normal. It's, it's just something. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. And all these things shall be added. It's, so these are the things it should be added. It's not a testimony. It's, it's our heritage. It's our right. These things shall be added unto you. For these seek the heathens. It is the heathens that seek after these things. But you child of the Lord. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. Consider the lilies of the field. They toil not, neither do they spin. But Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Consider the birds of the sky. They sow not, neither do they reap. But your heavenly father feeds them. Are you not more worth than these birds and these lilies? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. And the things you are seeking will begin to seek after you. For David said, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. He said that thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Surely, surely, I will not be chasing after goodness and mercy, but goodness and mercy shall Ay, 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 ay. goodness and mercy shall what shall follow me all the days of my life I break the curse of you chasing things I break the curse of you chasing after things I release an anointing of your life that will cause you to begin to hey! this mountain shall be removed my goodness this mountain shall be removed. Whatever has been resisting your flow in the Lord, it shall be removed. My spirit, it shall be removed. No one, no more shall your mom be sick and you are panicking. Receive the anointing and the grace for faith to heal in the name of Jesus. The worst thing that can happen is when your loved one is dying and you are not able to do anything about it. May faith rise. May an unction come upon us. God rent down the heavens and come down. Mano mana 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 pay. But by my spirit, my spirit said, by my spirit, by my spirit, please let's go quickly. Exodus four verse one. Moses answered and said, But behold, they will not believe me, nor hearken unto my voice. For they will say, The Lord hath not appeared unto thee. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto him, What is that in thine hand? The Lord said unto him, What? What is that in thine hand? My God. That, that is my message. God appeared unto Moses and said, Now the cry of my people have ascended unto me. Go and deliver them. And Moses looked at himself and said, How can I? They will not even believe me. Like the way most of you feel. Some of you, God, have called you into ministry. You know you have several dreams. But you are waiting. I don't know what you are waiting for. I don't know if an angel must come and say, My son. Uh -huh. Like the Nigerian movies. That's the one who believe. My son, Bella. Rise. <laughs> That's the kind of voice you want to hear. Some of us, even if God doesn't send us, we will go. If God, has, if God had never had called me, I would have called myself. Because you see, your problem is you are waiting for a certain encounter. A certain encounter. Because you've heard people's testimonies. I was there and a the light came on and a voice spoke like Moses. And you, are, you feel like those people are more powerful. When you hear those testimonies, it makes you discouraged. And you feel like, oh... If I don't have this encounter, I cannot do what this person is doing. 
let me, let me help us here. Do you know the reason why some people have these kind of encounters? Like someone will have an encounter. And how people, like, you know, Saul, the way Saul got born again. It was a dramatic experience, right? And have you spoken to friends who had some serious encounters and God is using them and they say an angel spoke to them. They heard the voice of an angel. You heard testimony like Jesus walked in the room and taught me this. You've heard those testimonies. Now when you, have, you hear those testimonies, if you are not spiritual and you don't have knowledge in the Lord, you'll be discouraged by this testimony instead of being encouraged by it. Because you feel like, man, this girl or this guy is more powerful than me. I need to have that encounter. And God, you, you have not even seen one vision before in your life. Now, that does not mean God cannot use you. Because there were times I was worried about that. And you know what the Lord said? The Lord said that those people need encounters like that. Otherwise, in the future, they can backslide. Let me explain. Some of these encounters these people have, is a sign that they're going to have difficulties in the future. Certain storms will blow in their faith that it will take the memory of these encounters for them to remember them that God has called me. The memory of these encounters is necessary for their future because the temptations and the obstacles that will arise against them might cause them to backslide and not even believe there is God anymore. But these encounters have a way of, ah, you can't deny the encounter you had. So if anybody says God is not real, you remember, but he appeared to me. So that encounter was necessary because of the challenges you, were go you are going to face in the future. But there are some of you, no matter the challenge, you still serve him. So God said you don't need it. Some of us, that, that we, are, we won't stop following God. No matter what comes against us. We will so, so God doesn't need to, it's like a child who is spoiled. You have to give the child, buy a gift for the child to study. If you have children that is, doesn't, want, doesn't like to study, you have to take the children. All the things you are doing is to make the child study. But the other children of yours, they are very serious students. They don't need motivation to study. That is how God deals with us. He, certain people need motivation by giving them encounters. Uh, don't get it. You, you get it? If you don't get it, forget about it. But this one, we get it. If you get it, say, hey. <laughs> you get it? Yes. Hallelujah. So, Moses said, if I go, they will not what? Believe me. They won't believe me. They won't. And I was surprised at Moses because if you look at the life of Moses, Moses was a child who was, a, the Bible says he was a goodly child. Flavius Josephus, one of the greatest biblical historians said, when Moses was born, there was a bright light that was shining on his body. And that is why when Pharaoh's daughter saw him, he said, no, I can't kill this child. There was some, something about that child that couldn't allow the enemy to destroy. And that is what God has said I should tell you. There is something about you. Do you know how many times they have sent a witch to come and kill you? The witch got, the witch got there and said, mm, not this one, I can't touch this one. Who am I prophesying to? Who am I prophesying If you are the one, do this. Hey. witch was sent angry. God there looked at your face. Mm. Went back and the witch madam said, why are you here? Go back. No, that there is something about that young girl. There is something about her. I can't touch her. Ah, for I see an inscription on her forehead. Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. I came to prophesy to you. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that is lifted up in judgment against you shall be condemned because there is an inscription on you. This is my people. Beloved son, this is my beloved daughter in whom I am well pleased. Shout yeah! Woo! 
You cannot be touched. No power can bring you down. No enchantment can crush you. If God be for us, who can be against us? Let me continue my teaching. By my spirit says the Lord. By my spirit. Hallelujah. So Moses was a very beautiful baby. And the Bible said he grew up in the palace of Pharaoh. He was supposed to be the next Pharaoh after the death. He was the prince. The Bible said that he learned in the seven mysteries of Egypt. He was a learned man. And Stephen said he was mighty in words. Mighty in words. He was the captain of the Egyptians that conquered Ethiopia. Moses was a very powerful person. And God said, I want to use you. But you are so much into Egyptian stuff. You are depending on your knowledge too much. You are depending on your oration. Your ability to speak. You are depending on the schools you have gotten to and the certificate you have. And so Moses thought that he was going to use his natural strength to deliver the nation of Israel. Just like most of you think. Your abilities, your wisdom, the things you have in the natural is what is going to bring revival. You are lying. And God said, Moses, let me take you to the school of revival. And the Bible said that when Moses was trying to use his natural strength, uh, the people turned their back on him. The people he was trying to help, the the Jews, they snitched on him and he had no option than to run away. Sometimes persecution is necessary for you to discover your assignment. And sometimes God will cause certain persecution to happen or confusion to manifest between you and a, a particular friend so that you'll be detached from that friend because Lot must leave Abraham. Lot means a veil. There are certain friends that are veil. As long as they are present with you, as long as as they are with you, you shall not see ahead. God said, let Lot go. And if you are refusing to let Lot go, because do you know that a certain relationship is hard to let go? I like the way he buys me flowers. The way her voice is, it's like a cat. Meow, I like her voice. That is your problem. God said, then I will kill that cat and give you a dog. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Shout yeah! <laughs> because the meow is your problem, then the meow must go. Let Ishmael go so that Isaac can come. I'm prophesying to someone. Hey. Hallelujah. Praise God. Jeez. Someone, let, me, let me not say this one. My spirit. Say no, no. Can I say it? Say it. Say it. Are you sure? Say it. Hey. I'll say it without you knowing that I've said it. <laughs> so let me continue. So Moses, God now took Moses out of Egypt into the wilderness. Moses was in Egypt for how many years? 40 years. 40 years of learning everything. And God said, for me to use you, I need to undo you. I need to undo you. I need to take away all your earthborn hopes. And your natural affections and desires must die before I can use you. And so when the Lord appeared unto Moses, after 40 years in the wilderness, God had already undone him. The same Moses, the Bible said, was mighty in words. Said, I can't talk. There are many times, I have preached many, many times. I started preaching when I was young. But still, anytime I go, I'm about to preach, I feel nervous. I feel like there is nothing in me. And it doesn't feel good. But those are the times God moves the most. Because anytime you are full of yourself, God can't fill you because you're already full. But anytime you are empty, 
God fills you. Are you here? Blessed are them that hunger and thirst after righteousness. If I'm already full, I will not be hungry. If I've already drunk, I will not be thirsty. But blessed are they that are that thirst and they shall be filled. Moses felt so incapable. Anytime you feel incapable, does not mean don't do it. It means lean on the everlasting arms of Yahweh. Learn to lean on that arm. And the Lord said, Moses said, I can't. He, he was so incapable. Before, do you know this? Let me say this. You can write this down. Moses was, was more ready when he was young than when he became old. When he was 40 years, do you realize he was more ready? He wanted to deliver the people. He, he was going to deliver the people. Do you remember? That's why he killed the Egyptian. He killed the Egyptian. He was more ready to fulfill ministry. But when God took away his natural, now he said, I'm not ready. I can't go. They won't even believe me. When thou feelest most indisposed to do the work of God, that is, and God calls you, that is when he's going to use you the most. So now God, all that Moses had was a rod. He had become a shepherd. But God was training him in the wilderness to be a shepherd. See, your birth is a revelation of how you are going to die. Let me say this. Oh, my time. Can I flow? Man, tomorrow let's come early. We can have time. We are limited here. It's not our church. Amen? What was I saying? Your birth, your birth, your birth, if you look at, if you ask your mom how you were born, it is a clear prophetic picture of the things that is going to happen in your life. You don't, do you believe it? <laughs> your birth, <laughs> how the state of the pregnancy of your mother is a very deep revelation of how your life is going to play out. Let me, let me give you an example. So you see this. If a woman is pregnant, I'm going somewhere with this. If a woman is pregnant and the first trimester, she doesn't have issues. She doesn't have a lot of troubles. And getting to the latter part of her delivery, she starts having serious complications that it must take a miracle for the baby to come out and the baby survives. And that is how the life of the baby is going to be. The initial stages of the life of the child Things will go on well. He will go to school. He will do well in school. But getting to the latter part of his life, some strange storm will start hitting him. And life becomes very hard. That is why there are certain people who become very rich and they die very poor. <laughs> and there are others too. When the mom is pregnant with them, the, from the beginning of the pregnancy, so much complications. And getting to them, and that is how the life of the, people, the child will be. The child will struggle in school. Till life will hit the person. Something will happen. He breaks through at last. The state of pregnancy of a woman. That is why if you are pregnant, pray on that child every now and then. I wish I had time to go deep into that. But when Jesus was born, do you look at the birth of Jesus. And let's look at his life. Do you see the controversies that surround his birth? They didn't even believe. His own husband, her own husband didn't believe that the Holy Ghost, because it was a mystery. That is why the Jews did not even believe that he's the Messiah. Did you get, did you get that? Did you get that? Did you get that? The Jews didn't believe, because that was the state of, of the birth. Now, Jesus was born where? In a manger. When he was born, there was so much confusion, Herod wanted to kill are you here? Herod wanted to kill, so they had to run away. And where they went, there was no hotel. There was no hotel, so they ended up sleeping where? In a manger. And he was born in a manger. You know why? You might think it's because of... That is how his destiny is going to play out. Because what animal is born in a manger? It's not a lamb that is born in a manger. And is Jesus not the lamb of God? That takes away the sins of the world. He was born to be a lamb. So he had to be born in a manger. And the Bible said when he was born. He was clothed with a swaddling cloth. 
A swaddling cloth is what they used to embalm our dead bodies. So even at birth, he was identified with death because his assignment was to come and die. The state of your birth is a revelation of your life. So you see that if you look at the pregnancy stage to your, your birthing stage and stuff, it is going to play out like that. See, God has given us, you don't need to be a prophet to know everything. If you observe patterns in scripture, you will be able to understand a lot of stuff. Moses now has grown up to be 40 years and the Lord to be 80 years now. He spent 40 years in the house of Pharaoh and God had to use 40 years to undo him. That is why some of you, you were deep in the world and you became rich. When you got born again, you lost everything. God had to undo you. Oh, when I was in the world, things were okay with me. Now that I'm in Christ, things are tough. Why? Because you cannot use the worldly things to do the work of God. God has to squeeze you and deprogram you to reprogram you. Am I communicating? So now Moses said, they won't believe me. And the Lord said, what is in your hand? He was only left with the rod. And I'm going to give you three things the rod stands for quickly. Then I pray for some few people, then we leave this place. Amen. The rod was all that Moses had. It was an, a natural wood. The rod was what? A natural root, wood. That he, every shepherd had a rod that they used to turn sheep. So the rod is a symbol of your natural abilities. Your natural abilities. The things that you can do. You have a good voice. You have a pretty smile. You are short. You are tall. You are big. Whatever ability you have, you are able, you are eloquent. You are able to dance well. These are your natural abilities. And sometimes, some of you think because of these natural abilities, because you have a good smile, you can be a good usher. It's a lie. <laughs> so the fact that you can do rift and runs when you were in the world, whoo! Because you, you have to make you a praise and worship leader the first day you came to church. No, it doesn't work that way. The fact that you were, you, were, you, were, you were a politician and you were very eloquent, you were able to move crowd, does not mean when you, got, you get born again, immediately we must make you preach in church. Your rod stands for your natural ability. Now let's continue. Keep reading. So Moses roared. Continue, continue. Exodus 4. Okay. A rod, and he said, cast it onto the ground. And he cast it on the ground, and it became a serpent. He said, God said what? Cast, cast your rod on the ground. And when he did, what, what happened? It became a serpent. That is how, what your natural ability is. It's corrupted. The rod that Moses had, when he cast it on the ground, when he cast it before the Lord, what happened? It turned into a serpent. That is what the Lord is telling us. That if we don't learn to cast our natural abilities before the presence of God, it is corrupted. That voice you have, that you have not cast down, is corrupted. It won't make impact. We will clap for you, but it can't change lives. You can preach very good because you have the ability to read and you have a certain natural understanding. You are, able, you are persuasive and you are able to talk well. So when you take a scripture, you can say things. We will applaud you, but you can't transform lives because that rod has not been cast down. And the Lord said, if you don't cast your rod down, he cannot use you. That is why there are many singers they have good voices, but they are not transforming lives. I pray that your rod shall be cast down today. Amen. Cast your business before God. Cast your giftings before God. Your natural abilities, because it is a serpent. It will make you feel you are something, but you are not. To make you feel you are something, but you are not. Because a serpent is deceptive. Cast it down. So and God said what? Pick it by the tail and it turned back into what? A rod. Now jump to verse 20. You see, when it was in the hands of Moses, it was called the rod of what? Moses. When he cast it down, 
and it turned back into a rod. Let's listen to how we call it. Verse 20. Mm -hmm. And Moses took his wife and his sons mm -hmm. and set them upon an ass. Mm -hmm. And he returned to the land of Egypt. Mm -hmm. And Moses took the rod of God. And, and took the rod of what? God. The rod of Moses now became the rod of God. So until you cast your rod down, it will be your rod. But God wants it to be his rod. That is the rod that can part the Red Sea. That is the rod that can do miracles. What is in your hands can is, has the potential of doing miracles. But if you don't cast it down, it cannot do. After this conference, Bell, you are going to see the cripples walk while you minister. You are going to see demons flee when you open your mouth and you begin to minister because you have cast your rod word down. Your business will not only feed your family. Your business is not going to feed the world for you shall lend to nations and not borrow because you have cast your business word. Tell your neighbor, cast your rod down. If there is going to be a revival in, in the United Kingdom, then the men and the women of God must cast their rod word. Now. Then the Christians in this city must cast their rod word down. Because most of the giftings we have is too corrupted. It's too corrupted. But we need the rod of God. It is only the rod of God that can swallow up the snakes of Pharaoh. The reason why we can't take over, we can't dominate, because we have not cast our rod down. So when our rod turns into a snake, it is just like the snakes of the magicians of Pharaoh. It doesn't swallow them. But when you have already cast your rod down, and God has transformed your rod, and you appear before Pharaoh and you cast it down, it will swallow up all the powers. There is no way a witch must enter this church and come and sit by you and you are running away. There's something in the churches. The moment we know of a, a known witch, enter the church. Mm, you begin to pull. Where is your God? You are running away because you have not cast your rod down. My goodness, I should be able to enter into a gathering of witches and they must run away. Because I carry on me the unction of God. Light shines in darkness and darkness comprehended not. There is no way light must flee from darkness. They said it's an occult person. Oh, then don't shake this hand. They can, they can change your destiny. No, I'm neutralizing your power. Uh, am I in church at all? Yes. I said, am I in church at all? I'm tired of normal Christianity. If you say you were a witch and I hug you, by the time you shake yourself, you see your power is gone. Uh, Say, Lord, I cast my rod down. Lord, I cast my rod down. Number two. The rod is a symbol of endurance. God cannot use you if you easily give up. The rod is made of a wood. It was a rod that a lot of the, um, the patriarch used. It was made of a wood called shittim or acacia wood. It was made of a wood called what? Shittim or an acacia wood. Now, this kind of wood is found in the desert of the Egypt. Of Egypt, it is such a strong wood, and it is believed that when you pierce a nail, you try to pierce a nail through the wood, the nail will break. That wood can stand every weather. In summer, it will stand. In winter, it will stand. No matter what, that wood is a symbol of endurance. That is how God is going to make you and I, because that are made of certain. Say, I'm made of shittim. I'm made of acacia. I am too tough. Oh, I can't feel. Say, I'm too tough. I can't stand all weathers. Nothing can break me down. Nothing can pull me down. I am too tough. I'm too robust. I'm too heavy to handle. Ay, 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 ay. God has made you too tough. Can I prophesy? Some witch or an occultic man is about to give up on you. Because they will try and they cannot penetrate you. Let them shoot arrow. It hits me and it bounces back. Whoa. Let them make enchantment and call my name. Jeez. I will appear and still go back. Whoa. I am tough. 
because I'm made of acacia, I'm made of Satan. I can endure everything, nothing can bring me down. The Lord has cooked me, the Lord has prepared me for his. I prophesy to 18 people here receive the anointing of Satan, receive the anointing of the acacia. Cancer cannot kill you, diabetes cannot kill you, no sickness can kill you. If God be for us, who can be against us? A thousand shall fall on our left and ten thousand on our right, but they shall not come nigh us. Only with our eyes shall we behold the reward of the wicked. For he who is in us is greater than he who is out there. Greater is he that is in me than he. I am too tough. For if the spirit of him that raised Jesus from death liveth on the inside of me, the same spirits are quickened. I feel a quickening here. God is quickening your mortal body. He's waking you up. He's shaking you up. Shout yes! You are too heavy to handle. My God, my God, my God, I feel a divine power coming upon your life. The Lord is a symbol of endurance. When you go through the fire, he shall be with you. God will not take me out of the fire. You know why I must go through the fire? I'm not a wood. I am gold. My sword must go through the fire. What kills others makes me strong. What brings others down lifts me up. For when men shall say there is a casting down, I shall say there is a lifting up. Because I'm made of cassia. I'm made of a sitting wood. Ah, something is on the inside of me. The more you press me down, the higher I go. My God, who am I speaking to today? Rejoice not over me, oh, and my enemies. Because I'm down, I shall rise again. For a righteous man shall fall seven times. And on the seventh time, he shall rise. You are coming back. They thought you are dead. But they didn't know. You are made of shit. They didn't know. You are made of cassia. Ah, you carry in you a resurrection ability. Let me not go ahead of myself. The dead thing. Oh my God. I, I wish I had time to work this. My time is up. Uh, prophetess. I'm stealing a little bit of the time. Tell them that we will be, will be fine. Okay. Poof. Ah. They, they sent you a lot of enemies thinking you will give up. The more they afflicted them, the more they increased. The more they tried to bring me down, the more I become great. Listen, you will receive a miracle in these three days. Jesus. It will blow your mind. Jesus. Mark my words. If I be a prophet of God, your eyes shall see what I'm saying. Ah! I'm made of a material that is so, that makes me indestructible. I'm undiable and unkillable. If God does not call me, no man can kill me. Because of what you are made of. I'm made of acacia. I'm made of shit. That wood, it can be destroyed. It cannot be destroyed. No weather changes it. You know, there are some people, they become less anointed when they are. Ooh. Okay, let me hold that one. They become less anointed when some, certain things happen to them. No. My anointing increase. The more you draw attacks on me, it doesn't matter what. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yes. You know what? I used to be iPhone 3, but I'm an iPhone 14. Yeah, yeah. I see God bringing up an upgrade in your life. God is upgrading your destiny. Lift up one leg and shout fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, yeah. 
let me finish this. Number, number one, the rod stands for what? Number two, endurance. Number three, resurrection power. Now, in the book of Numbers, chapter 17, the Lord instructed Moses, if you read it, you see it. Our time is up. The Lord instructed Moses to take 12 rods and put it in the holies of holies. And he, because he wanted to choose a tribe for himself, he wanted to choose someone. And he said, pick the rod of one rod for Aaron and put it in the holies of holies. The rod that bads in the morning is the rod that I've chosen. Now, look at this. You see, this is a wood. There is no way this wood will produce flowers or anything because it has been disconnected from the earth. There is no way a rod will bad. But the Bible said, when they put the 12 rods in the holies of holies, in the morning, the rod of Aaron budded, which is a sign of resurrection. Something that is dead, a dead wood, a dead wood. Are you following at all? Wonderful. It's a good news. I don't like these people. Yeah. You guys are really... I'm made of a case here. You can't hey. discourage me. I'm made of shit. You can't discourage me. Hey. Hey. Hallelujah. They have extended it for us. Hallelujah. Is that a good thing? So now I can, can, I, now I can prophesy. I can have time to minister to people. Is that a good thing? Yeah. Your face is... I don't like your face. Can you give God a leg of rain? A leg of rain. Say, my God. No, do it my style. Say, my God. Onaina, Onaina. 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 Hallelujah. So, it stands for what? Resurrection. Resurrection power. Resurrection power. It has to go through death. Bringing my message to a close. All the rods laid all night, which is a symbol of death. But by the next morning, they saw that a dead rod has, pro- has blossomed. It has blossomed. And it was the rod of Aaron. And God said, I have chosen Aaron as a priest because his rod has gone through resurrection. For God to choose you, you have to die. Now, this is my message, and I'm done. I'm done already. For God to use you, you have to die. The reason why we cannot see the power of God move in our life is we are too alive. You are too alive. Look at the things that makes you angry. Just look at the things that, that annoys you. Death, unless a seed of grain falls to the ground and dies, it abides alone. If the church will multiply, if the works of the church will reach the ends of the earth, then it depends on our level of death. How dead we are to this self, this flesh. If we want to see power, your level of death reveals your level of power. Jesus was more powerful after his resurrection than he was when he was walking on earth. He was called Jesus Christ, but after resurrection, he was called Christ Jesus. There are two types of death. Death by termination and death by germination. That death that exterminates you from the earth, that's not the death I'm talking about. Because of the kind of material you are made up of, when they kill you, you come back. Because I'm a seed. When you put me on the ground and step on me and think that you have finished me, 
You don't know I'm a seed. And I am dying to come back more than I used to be. Oh my God. So when I plant one mango seed, it dies. But it becomes a mango tree and produces many mango fruits. Many mango fruits. Because of death. If we want to see more miracles, we must die. If we want to see more, we must die. We are too impatient because we are still alive. We are still full of lust because we are still alive. Full of anger because we are still alive. Is that which is alive in us that is hindering us? Some things must die. So that the power of God can come alive. It's called the resurrection power. It must live in us. If the spirit of him that raised Jesus from death lives. That means that that spirit must live in us. The spirit of him that raised Jesus from death dwelleth on the inside of us. That spirit will quicken us. And we will do the impossible. That is what is going to happen. Prayer and fasting kills your flesh. It's not prayer and fasting that will make God hear you. <sighs> Let me wear this thing. You think when you pray, you see, the sad thing is that when you are praying, you feel like you are convincing God. God wants you more healed than you want to be healed. When you have this mindset, it will change your posture in prayer. The way sometimes we pray, Father, please, he wants you it for you more than you want it for yourself. You know why? When Jesus died, ooh, I feel something here. When Jesus died and he resurrected, do you remember that he, he was dressed like a gardener and Mary, they saw him, they thought he was a gardener and they wanted to touch him. Say, hey, I'm here, don't touch me until I present myself to the father. That is how the priest in the Old Testament, if the priest is going into the holies of holies to make atonement for the sins of the people, you cannot touch them until they present their blood. And when the priest is going into the holies of holies, the, every priest in the book of Ex the Vertical must have a sound. They are, they, at, the, at the hem of their garment, the bells is interwoven with the pomegranate, the fruit and the gifts of the spirit. Pomegranate is a sign of the fruit. The bells is a symbol of the spirit. And as the priest move, they hear the sound of the priest, which is a sign that the offerer is living and the offering is accepted. Am I working this thing? So as long as they hear the sound of the priest, it means that what? The offering is accepted and the offerer lives. Now when they don't hear the sound, it's a sign that the priest is dead because there was sin in the life of the priest. But in the New Testament, Jesus, our high priest, also must present blood, which is his blood of eternal redemption, to the Father. And we must hear the sound to prove that the offering has been accepted and the offerer, who is Jesus, liveth. That sound is very crucial. And that sound is the sound of revival. So, when our high priest Jesus went into heaven, what was the sound? In the book of Acts chapter 2, and there came a sound as of a mighty rushing wind. And it filled the room wherein they have gathered. And something like clothing tongues of fire sat on the head of the people. That sound which is the Holy Ghost, the move of the, the word sound there in the Greek is the rumbling of a tornado that precedes a storm. Mm. The word sound, it means the rumbling, you see when there's going to be a major storm, the rumbling of a, a tornado that precedes a storm. There is a sound that is about to enter this place. Jesus. That sound only comes after resurrection. Mm. Do you hear me? It comes after resurrection and it is the sound that ushers in the move and the presence of God. Unless we put our rod down, 
we cannot experience the resurrection power. Gone were the days where men were so anointed, you put virus in their hands and the virus die. Coronavirus came to expose the weakness of the church power. This should make the church more angry for the church to go back into the place of prayer. Jesus in Gethsemane realized he was about to lay down his rod. In, in other words, he said, I shall lay down my life. Ooh. You see, for Moses, he laid his rod down. That was why his salvation was limited. <laughs> but Jesus laid his life down. Will someone lay his life down? I want to see power in my generation. Mm. If the Benihins and the Katinkomas are gone, and the CD Jakes and all the, who, who is next to walk in that level of power? Who is going to carry the mantle of Catherine Coman? Men like Peter, who shadow healed the sick. When was the last time we heard of that? A man shadow is healing the sick. Ah, I sense an anointing is coming upon a woman here. Jesus. You will go to the saloon. Whilst the woman is fixing your hair, the woman will scream and be delivered because your hair is anointed. Uh, I just prophesied that as the woman is touching your hair, fixing your hair, something comes upon the woman and she can't explain what is happening. Wherever you go, demons will manifest. Because the Bible said when Jesus Christ got to the land of the gatherings, he was not praying, he was not doing a crusade, but his mere presence activated demons and the man who was filled with legend came and fell before him and started worshiping and said have you come to destroy us before our time he said please don't turn us into the abyss send us into this pit." and Jesus looked at the man and spoke to the demons leave and enter into the pit." one thing that touched my heart was the demons ask a request and Jesus granted the request of the demons and the Lord said if Jesus have heard the prayers of demons who do you think that he will not hear your prayers it doesn't matter what you have done even Come on. if the prayers of demons are heard ah, don't let the devil make you feel he doesn't hear your prayers I want us to pray. You are praying unto death. You are praying unto death. Do you understand? When you are praying unto death, you pray. There are times, I remember, I remember one day, I was studying. I was in high school. I was studying. And as I was studying, I couldn't, what is happening to me? I couldn't study. So I started praying in tongues. And I had exams the following day. But I couldn't study. The Holy Ghost came on me. And I, went, I left the books and I went to the prayer chapel. I started praying. I entered into a realm of prayer, man of God. I couldn't feel my body anymore. I was so scared. This is what came to my mind. That maybe I was going to vanish. Or something will happen and in the morning it will be a news in school. Where is Seth? Where is Seth? Uh, that was how I felt. I felt I was going to vanish. I couldn't feel myself. I had to open my eyes and run away from the prayer ground. I have had encounters in prayer. That is why I love to pray. When you take my prayer life, you have killed me. You have killed me. Prayer is the lifeline of the believer. It is that which activates the resurrection power of God in a man. When I was praying, not knowing at the same time my parents were going to have an accident. They, no, they were attacked by armed robbers. It was around 1.30 a.m. No wonder the Holy... Listen, if you are someone whose voice is recognized in the heavens and God can trust you that when he prompts you, you will obey and pray, he will always reveal stuff to you. At that time, I didn't know why I was. I wanted to pray. I went kanta bi anta atani mi tan tuma apan apan timi. Then I would change gears. Gra gra atani mi tan tumi kan tuma apan pani mi pa. Then I would change to the fifth gear. Gra 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 apam apam apam. Hi, Santa. Something will happen to you today. Yeah. Hey. Ah. 
apani mitantuma apan apani mitimpi mitasa apana matasa apan apani mipampani mipasa apani mipasa apampani mipampuma apani mipimpi mipasa apan apani mipasa apani mipasa i started praying and i felt unction come upon me i couldn't feel myself not knowing at the same time that the holy ghost moved me to pray my parents were traveling from Koforidia to Cape Coast. And when they got to a certain it looked like the police barrier was there. But I did not know it was armed robbers. Something hit my dad. He couldn't see well. And he said to my mom, Abra, I don't feel good about this. He turned. And when he was turning, they realized that they were escaping. They hit the, the how do you call it there? the windscreen with the metal but thanks be to God they escaped prayer gives you escaping powers Ah, I pray for the release of the mantle of prayer upon your life. You must shut up, Kaputi Pikita, upon Tum Pinimi Pass, Iman Amantantan, in Tamahata, Mantimitam Puma, Manta. There are men that have changed their world on their knees. Amam Mumin Dimim Bim Bima, and Tam Puma, and Panimi Bam Pum Puma, and Tanama Pompa, and Manta. And I'm a son, Mimina and Tum, Atakalu, Ayakus, at a son, Penicus, man, ah, Madame, Madame Tuba, Mahatan, Tantimita, Bob Akatia, Masakatu, Pihatan, Mehent, the Henta, Ati, Bilahatu, Mahatan, Ten Tumi, Manahatali, Atai, Azuta, Mafekatani, Opan, Hen, Penima, Opalaha, Azon, Zekan. Tani, Oloha, Medahaito, Parahati, Melehatandi, Opo, Rahatanda, Shidabaha. Be on your feet. Ah, ah, ah. Satan is not afraid of your preaching. Satan is afraid of a praying man. Oh my heart, I Satan is afraid of a praying woman. Satan is afraid of a praying woman. Satan is afraid of a child that knows how to pray. Jesus. Listen to me. Listen to me. The first time I challenged myself to that I came to awaken the spirit of prayer in you. Yes. If we want to see miracles, we must pray. Yes. I said I was praying for 12 hours non-stop. My spiritual father prayed for 40 hours non-stop. Sometimes I wonder what he wants from God. He has done 40 days fasting. No food for 40 days, three times. One day he was praying. The day he was, he prayed for 40 hours. When he got to the 26th hour, he said, God, give me a sign. Him my turn to me, turn to me, turn to me. Can to me high. And it started raining only in his house. It was not raining only in his house. And he said, Abba Adonai, thank you. Listen, something, people will know you serve a living God. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. There is a man that knows how to pray. May they mention your name. Yes. You carry the presence of God if you know how to go on your knees in prayer. Demons flee from your presence if you know how to go on your knees in prayer. I remember I said, I'm praying for 12 hours once in your university. I said, let me leave my room because if I try to do it in my room, I will sleep after maybe five or six hours. So I left to, to the field and I, I, I did a prayer walk on the highway to a far place where I have no option than to pray back. <laughs> Because sometimes you have to deal.
discomfort yourself. Mm. There is no man who has power that didn't pay the price. Ah, I was feeling the pains in my ribs, but I was praying. And after that 12 hour prayer, I have never seen the move of God in my life like that. I remember I went for a revival. They gave me the microphone. I had not opened my mouth. The moment I stood there, the power of God started coming. People started manifesting. I'm like, wow. People would just greet. I'm like, this thing is real. But you see, praying for that, you, you think praying for 12 hours is easy? And I said, I want to go. I want to challenge my spiritual father. I said, I'm going on 24 days. When I got to 14, I couldn't. <laughs> no, he, he has done 25 hours. He's done 40 hours. He's done 40. He's that's for prayer. I don't know what he wants from God. And if you see here his testimonies, he was SS, sickle cell. SS. They gave him the report. He took it to the Greek gardens. Spread it on the floor and knelt down three days and three nights on his knees. Pan tumi kantama. Pinimi kumpama. Went to the hospital. His blood group changed to AA. He's still yeah. alive. It's a testimony. It's there. You know, when you know sickle cell people, they grew up with it. But when they said he was going to die, they told his wife, you can't have kids. You and your wife, you can't have kids. He said the same way God did it. He took the report again. Listen, prayer can change anything. Prayer. Oh. I've come to believe in the power of prayer. One day I was sick. I was so sick. I went to the clinic in school. I've been going so, there so much that the nurses were angry at me. I, are you still sick? Because they would give me medicine. I, I went there. And they said, go home. You can go home. I was weak. Everybody was in class. Whilst I was going, I fell on the roadside. Sick. Couldn't walk. A taxi driver was driving. The taxi driver saw me. So, which student is laying down? Picked me. I told him where I lived and took me home. My parents were not there. My, my sister was very little at that time. They went to bring blankets. They covered me with three blankets. I was shivering. At that time, I felt like I'm going to die. Because no, no, no one to take me to the hospital. Then I remembered ah, his strength is made perfect in our weakness. And I said, even in my weak, if, in my weakness, if I pray, you hear me. And the Lord gave me a revelation. And he said, when Jonah was swallowed by the fish, he should have been digested in the belly of the fish. But he chose even in the belly of the fish to pray. That which should have consumed him couldn't consume him. Prayer will make you tough. Prayer will activate Acacia and Satan in your spirit. And the fish started feeling fire. Yeah. And so what did I swallow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, he had vomited down riches. But he will, he has swallowed down riches. But he will vomit them up. And the fish said, I cannot take this anymore. And vomited Jonah out. It is not too late to pray. It is not too late to pray. And one day the Lord also gave me a revelation. He said, have you seen David and the sheep? The sheep. How can, when you are here and a lion is there, you know you are dead. <laughs> when a lion is two meters away from you, you know you are dead. But this time, the lamb, the lamb was in the mouth of the lion. But the lion cried out of the mouth of the lion. The, sorry, the lamb cried out of the mouth of the lion. Woman of God. And David heard the cry of the lamb and went to deliver the lamb out of the mouth of the lion. And the Lord said, look at that situation. Shall the prey of the mighty be taken away? Or the lawful captive be delivered? Thou say the Lord, the prey of the mighty shall be delivered and the lawful captive shall be taken away. In the mouth of the lion still pray. It is not too late to be delivered. Someone entered the belly of a fish and still prayed. And the 
I don't know the weight that has swallowed your, ma your marriage and your finances hey. and your ministry. Hey. This prayer will cause a nervous to swallow your destiny. Hey. Your aiming is weak. Amen. Listen. When thou feelest most indisposed to pray, yield not even when thou thinkest thou canst pray. When you feel like I am tired of praying, that is when you must pray more. Mm. The day you feel so much resistance is a sign that something great is about to happen. Don't let time stop you from praying. Until you have the note of victory, don't stop. Pray until something happens. Gosh. This prayer we are going to do, someone will see a 24 hour miracle. Amen! You don't believe. We are going to pray. You will catch something in prayer and you will see that authority has come upon you. This authority will give you access to a realm of power. Some of you will literally, your eyes will open and you will literally see what the Lord is doing with you in prayer. God has started showing me things already. But we have to pray and deal with stuff. You see, gift is gift. Manifestation is of the Lord. Manifestation is of the Lord. I want to see manifestation. Yes. Lift your hands up. Please, only the strengths for me. And lift your hands up. Close your eyes. I want, we are going to access and enter into a place in prayer you've never entered before. Jeez. Some of you can't even feel yourself. Mm. And please, deliver yourself from praying wandering thoughts. Where your mind is wandering. Lift up your hand. Play in the spirit for me. Lift it. Lift up your hand. Something this will happen. You shall receive grace. You shall receive grace. We are about to enter into a certain realm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you and God. Whew. Likewise, the Spirit helpeth in our infirmities. We do not know how to pray as we ought to, but the Spirit makes intercession on our behalf with groanings and expressions that cannot be uttered. There is going to be the Holy Ghost is going to help you in prayer and it's going to take you into a realm of prayer you've never lose yourself deliver yourself from yourself and let the Holy Ghost take you into dimensions of prayer oh, 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 oh. move, move, move if you feel like moving from where you are, move find a place Meheneke Akosai Sandasa I feel it. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. You can move, oh, you can move. You are about to enter into a place of prayer where mortal men don't normally access. God. The cloud will carry you. 
the chariot of fire will carry you. Oh my God. Be determined that today you will access a realm that you cannot recover from. Pray. Miracles will follow this prayer today. You will see something you've never seen. Pray me yes me yes me yes me yes Oh, Increase your prayer fire. Increase your prayer fire. Increase your prayer fire. Me wo Yeshua. Me wo Yeshua. Me wo Yeshua. Me wo Yeshua. Oh, Come on, increase it, increase it. Me 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 Pray, 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 pray. Something is stirring. Come on, lift that prayer. As 
Asafu Yehova Asafu Yehova gift you will take from this place today Jesus. is the fire of prayer. Ah. Listen. Jesus. If you have prayer, eh, the ability to pray, Jesus. to lock and unlock things. In emergency, you will not need your pastor. Hey. You will not need a prophet. Your voice will be recognized in the heavens tonight. It's hey. the fire of God. Fire fire of God. God. Come upon me Come upon me now. How many of you want the spirit of prayer to come upon you? Yes, Jesus. When you begin to pray, one of the things God is going, He will give you authoritative voice. Uh, Say authoritative voice. Authoritative voice. When you bind on earth, it shall be bound. When you lose, it is it is a realm. You say things and it happens. Prayer gives you authoritative voice. Prayer opens your eyes into the realm of the spirit. Prayer sensitizes your spirit. The power of God. Power of God. Come upon me now. Come upon me now. The Lord, as I lift up my voice in prayer, revive my spirit. Set my spirit on fire. 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 Touch my tongue with coals of fire. Open my eyes. 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 In prayer. Oh, my God. 
Now listen, I want you to find three people. Three people from a circle. Shout revival. Revival. Form a circle. Listen, people. Form a circle. How many of you want to walk in power? This is not a revival where we are only coming to receive and receive breakthrough. We are going to receive spiritual virtue. Amen. You are going to walk in miracles after tonight. Amen. Oh, do you believe it? Amen. I said you are going to walk in miracles. Amen. Ah. And as you pray, let your mind follow that God release the anointing for signs and wonders on my life. Say anointing for signs and wonders. Anointing for signs and wonders. Come upon me now. Come upon me now. Say anointing for signs and wonders. Anointing for signs and wonders. Come upon three. Just three, 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 three. Anointing for signs and wonders. Anointing for signs and wonders. Come upon me now. Come upon me now. Come upon me now. Come upon me now.
about to pray for our families. We're about to pray for our families. Say any evil. Any evil. In my family. In my family. And now. And now. No, 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 no. You didn't hear me. God, no, but no, sir. My God. Now that you have received authority. Any evil in your family is coming to an end. Amen. They call something generational cares. It will not be your portion. Amen. You will walk in generational blessing. Amen. I see rings falling off. Ah. What God is saying is spiritual marriages are breaking. Amen. Any spirit that has married your family. I saw something. Ah. I saw rings falling off the hands of people. And it was not like people's marriages were breaking. It was spiritual marriages that were breaking off their lives. Say, any evil marriage marriage is throwing my family. Shall say I come out? I come out. I come out. I come out. No, you know what you are coming out of. Say I come out. I come out. Come on. I come out. I come out. I come out. I come out. What do you want to come out of? Say I come out. 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 Premature death in my family. When I say it, you shall break three times. Premature death in my family. Pray, pray, pray in the name of Jesus. Please say it by faith. Barrenness in my family. In the name of Jesus. Pray, pray, pray in the name of Jesus. Poverty in my family. In the name of Jesus. Pray, pray, pray. Jesus. Ah. Ah. God is changing the shoes of people. Ah. 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 Let's pray this last two prayers and we start praying for people. Ah. Curses in your mother's background affecting your life. Ah. Curses from your father's background. Uh, God is placing a sword in your hands right now. Uh, 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 and you are about to destroy the demon that is policing the curse. Uh, and you are going to command the curse to break. Sounds three, three, three times. Pray, pray, pray in, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Are you ready? Listen, family limitations are breaking. When I say family limitations, I'll break later. Family limitations. Break, break, break. Family limitations. Break, break, break. Family limitations. Break, break, break. Listen, don't joke with this declaration. Most of the problem we are facing is because of where we come from. That one has a legal grounds on us. And tonight, God will deal with legal matters. Amen. Family limitations. Pray, pray, pray. So someone is coming out. I say, family limitations. Pray, pray, pray. Yeah, ah, there will be mighty deliverances. Family limitations. Pray, pray, pray. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I said, family limitations. Pray, pray, pray. Something is breaking. Family limitations. 
nation. See, but listen, listen. Gideon. It was family curses, idolatry in a fam in his family, that was hindering him from manifesting how mighty he was. The Bible said Gideon, a mighty man of valor, but all tests from his father's house limited him. This prayer is going to break forth family limitation, and you are entering your father's house to destroy every altar fighting your greatness. Ay, 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 ay. All tests in my father's house. Pray, pray, pray. <laughs> Add in the name of Jesus to it. All tests in my father's house. Pray, pray, pray. Oh. In the name of Jesus. After those altars were broken, then he was able to lead the armies of Israel into victory. You are a mighty woman, you are a mighty man, but you are living as a beggar. This error is going to be resolved tonight. Amen. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I release the anointing. I release the anointing. I receive the anointing. I receive the anointing. To enter my father's house. To enter my mother's house. To destroy. To destroy. To destroy. All that's fighting me. All that's fighting my siblings. All that's fighting my parents. As I lift up prayer. Power of God. Oh, 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 oh,
Altars, and there will be reactions here. Lift up your hand, close your eyes. By the count of seven, I see major deliverance. All just get ready because God is setting people free from the altars of their father's house so that they can be the mighty men and women God have designed them to be. By the count of five, one, two, three, four, five, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, break, break, bring them to me, bring them to me here, bring them to me here, lift your hands up. Let her go, 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 lift your hand wherever you are, bring this woman here for me. Lift your hand. Shata kapaha. Ganda. Ah. Spiritual marriages. People sleeping and dreaming that someone is molesting you in your dream. I command every marine spirit that is claiming break in the name of Jesus. Lose her. Bring her. Lift your hands up. Aka. Kokotakata. Keketeka. Listen, you'll be free. Lift your hand. There are seven people I saw that the Lord is setting free from spiritual marriages. Otherwise, you will never enjoy marriage in your life. The rest of the six, Holy Ghost, locate them and set them free. Right now. Right now. Right now. Yes. Go. Lose them. Lose them. Lose them now. By divine authority, I command that covenant to be broken. That covenant is broken. Whatever they are, Holy Ghost, look at them right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Loose, loose. Lift up your breath right now. Go, go now. In the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Look at Tabahos. Bring them here. Sit. 
set them free, Lord. Lift your hand. She's vomiting. Give her tissue. God will set you free. Lift your hand up. Ah. Ah. This girl. Your time is up. Your time is up. Your greatness will shine forth. Your time is up. Say the Lord. Your light has come. Your light has come. Ah. Lift this girl up. There is this woman that I, where was she? Was, is it this one? Ah, no, let me see. Not this one. I saw the spirit of death on her. Was it her? Yeah, lift her up. The spirit of death. Three months, three months, three months from now. The spirit of death. The spirit of death is following her. And the spirit of God is going to take her soul three months from now. She will be feeling like something has left her. She feels empty. But the Lord said your time is not up. You were sold. Your turn. She was sold to some spirit. And the spirit have come to take her. And it's going to happen three months from now. It's, it's which month? It's which month? July. 21st, July 21st is the day I saw in the spirit that she was knocked down by that spirit. Look at me. Receive the light of God. Lift your hands up. <laughs> A life will enter you. Her soul is not in her. I call for your soul back into your body and I command life. Look at me. Look into my eyes. I command life into your body. Life into your body. You will not die. But you shall live to declare the works of God. Now I command that spirit of death out. Stop following her. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> yes. 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 Who, who knows anyone called Anita here? Anita. Anita. Come. Where is she? Who is she to you? Is she married? Does she have children? How many? Come. The Anita I'm talking about has something got to do with her pregnancy. That is what I'm seeing. There is something about the pregnancy of an Anita that the Lord wants me to pray for. There is something called earth, topic pregnancy, right? The, the thing. Yeah. That's what the Lord wants me to pray for. If that nobody knows that person in the course of the revival, such a person will be here. And Father, I pray whoever she is, set her free now. Don't let the will of the wicked come to pass. My sister, you will not die. But you shall live to declare the works of God. Have you been feeling empty? There is something like a shadow that has been following you. It's a spirit of death. Are you aware of that? You are not. Within three months, that would have happened. July, I'm seeing 21st. But God has set you free right now. In the name of Jesus. Put her down. Put her down. Lift this girl up for me.
I destroy that python spirit that is strangling you. Ah, stretch, stretch for your hand, mobile. There is a python spirit that wants to also sniffle life out of her. And that serpent has been manifesting in her dreams. And the Lord said, command that serpentine spirit to leave her. Someone you've been feeling very light on your right side. It's like you feel very light and it's getting weak. Who is that? Come. 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 If you are the one, come quickly. On your right side. On your right side. Come quickly, please. Come. I care stroke. I mean, how long have that been happening? It's a month now. Come. You'll be healed forever. Do you know you are not well? This side, right? Yeah. It's stroke that they have projected in the spirit. But God's power is setting you free now. Lift your hands up. <laughs> Fire of God! Ah. You feel weak there. Here. Down. All this side. How that how's the feeling? You, you have difficulties even lifting your hands. Middle pierced where? This side. You feel pains here. And sometimes you feel like there's needle. And you feel pain all over this side. You will not have stroke. Look at me. With the resurrection power of God. The resurrection power of Jesus set you free right now. <laughs> Put her down. Let the Lord work on her. She won't feel that pain again. Lift your hands up. We set this daughter of God free. <laughs> Go! Go! In the name of Jesus. Ha. This is a very stubborn spirit. Just stretch forth your hand. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every serpentine spirit. Troubling this one. Troubling this out! 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 Release fire right now. Release fire. Ouch, in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. Jesus. Lift your hands up. Ah. Say, Lord, my soul is free. Lord, my soul is free. Say, Lord. Lord. My soul. My soul is free. It's free from oppression. From oppression. Oh Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Sister, come. <laughs> Anyone have an eye problem here? An eye problem. You can't see well. I'm talking about someone who can see well. But we'll pray for you in there. Who cannot see well? You, you can't see well. You can't read without your glasses. But you can see me, right? It's blurry. God will heal your eye. Oh, Jesus. You will read without your glasses. Jesus. Anyone again? Come, stand there. Don't go. Come, please come. I want to pray for them. The Lord is leading me to pray for eye, eye, eye. People with eye issue. Come. God bless you. You remember that song? Oh, you, you are not a Ghanaian. You are not a Ghanaian. Why? Why are you not a Ghanaian? 
is there? He, 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 he married a, a Ghanaian. You know what it means? It's the Greek word for power. Pray, please come forward. Come forward. Wow, a lot of people with eye problem. God, touch our eyes. Heal me, O oh Lord, and I will be healed. Save me and I will be saved. Oh, heal me, O oh Lord, and I will be healed. For you are the one. Touch your eyes. I pray. If you have glasses, take it off. Do we believe God is a healer? Do you believe God is a healer? Are you tired already? Stretch forth your hands on them. Stretch forth your hand. Believe God with me. And believe that God shall anoint your eyes with eye salves right now. And you shall be healed. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Touch your eyes. Holy, holy, holy. The power of God is here right now. Are you Lord? <laughs> the elder saint angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy. Touch Holy Ghost. And angels found the redeemed worship you now. Oh, 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 Lord, let your power be present to heal. They'll begin to feel, some will begin to feel fire and heat on their eyes. Yeah, that is it right there. That is it. That is it. That is it. Holy Ghost. You feel fire on your eyes. Feel fire. That is it. Your healing has come. 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 Receive your healing. Receive your healing. In the name of Jesus. Ah, you are too young. Clarity. Clarity. You couldn't read? Right now, you can't see far. Properly. When I came here, I couldn't see him properly. Who? Him. It was the issue there. Was the, but you can see him now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very sharp. Wow. Whoa! Can you clap for Jesus Christ? I, there's an issue with the eye, uh, most people have it. It's called astigmatism, refraction of the eye lens. And most people who are born with it happen to be born with it. So um, now, it, it, when I wear the glasses, it makes me see everything HD better. So now it's better without it. I mean, no, are you sure? Yeah. So when you were here, you couldn't see him? I was looking at him. I couldn't see him clearly before. And now wow. you can. Yeah, 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 sharper. Wow. <laughs> Can you give prayer? Yeah. Are you sitting down or rejoicing? Yeah. If God has done it for him. Can, can you see? Did you have an eye issue? No. Who else? I want another testimony because God is making. Who had a blurry vision? Who had a blurry vision here? Uh, yeah. you, did you have a blurry vision? Come. I'm going to pray for you. What couldn't you do? You can't see. So shall I bring a book right now? You don't mind. You've no, you are not able to read without glasses? Yeah, I can't have to see the front on it. Bring me a book. A Bible. The Lord will do it. Now we are doing this testimony for those that are also believing you to tap from this testimony. Amen. Oh my God, I don't like your spirit here today. 
Father. Father. Come here. Come. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Believe God for your healing, okay? Your presence is heaven to me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Those of you standing there, touch your eyes. Believe God. What you couldn't do, trust God to do it. Your presence is heaven to me. Read what you can see. Shh. One of the areas of ignorance we need to address here is the way Christians have tried to run the fasting so much that some can even feel that if they get anywhere. Oh, could you have done this before? Hey! Can you give Jesus? No, please. Don't, don't lie in the presence. You couldn't have read without... As in, the words would just jumble. Like, the words would literally jumble. Especially black and white. I had to use overlay. And this is black and white. Black and white. I'm able to read now. As in, yeah. Can you give praise to Jesus? Oh, Jesus. Oh, come on. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Your presence. Your presence is... say to Jesus Christ we thank him. you will never read with the glasses again Amen. I prophesy to you <laughs> my God my God put that down you your eyes have not opened in the natural only but in the spirit <laughs> you were prophetess say ah there are four people here that God is calling deeply in the prophetic ministry. <laughs> Lift up your hand. Ah, there is another voice crying within here. Lord, set her free from all her troubles. Lift your hands up. Your eyes shall be clear. Anyone with a knee problem, anywhere you are sick, just believe God for your healing. Just believe God for your healing. Where is um? You came here with a clutches, right? Do you believe God can heal you? You are the one who came with a wheelchair, right? What happened? You twisted. You were dancing. Ha! Mahatan tanamata. Apan tumi tantimi ata. Leka tanimi tatua. Bantika tazis. Jesus. How many of you believe Jesus is a healer? Amen. You don't believe it. Do you believe it? Yes. Amen. Your faith. Please, those of you, we, I intentionally took two testimonies. You will, have, you will give testimonies tomorrow. Amen. Listen. Listen. Look, so you cannot even stand on it at all. It's very painful. Can you, can, where's mommy? You are, you are the doctor. Come and take it off for me. Put her on the altar. Ah, God. Do you believe Jesus at all? Amen. I don't like your attitude. You are just spectating. I don't feel faith. You should be believing God for your testimony. Her own is healing. Maybe yours is something different. For you are glow. Deborah. Is it a boy or a girl? Because I saw a prophetic unction in your womb. Are you I'm using that because you don't want people to know the, the gender? Listen, there is a prophetic unction in your womb. And this person will deal with precedence. This the, the day this child will be born, the day this child will be born, you have entered into what I call great favor. 
I see you receiving invitation in Brazil. Invitation in the U.S. You are traveling the world. And at the age of seven, this child, this child will put a permanent smile in your face. Amen. This Amen. child is going to be a very gifted Amen. child. Amen. Yes, Lord. I feel God's power. I feel an anointing. You feel pains? Where? Oh, so where, where did you hear it? It's dislocated. I also nearly dislocated mine. You feel the pains there right now. All down here. Put your hand there. The fire of God is working on you. Amen. By the time we finish, you will walk in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. An angel ah. of God will be visiting you. Jesus. This girl will be used mightily by God. Amen. Amen. Ah. Ah, this child will bring you so much favor. You see, the way God have lifted Sinatch, that is going to be the anointing that will rest on him. Amen. Sinatch. Amen. Let me tell you, give you prophetic direction. Just watch her. Keep watching her. Whether you like her or you don't like her, just keep watching her. There is a favor and a grace that, are, that is on her that God is going to give you. You are going to be accepted worldwide. Oh and when God bless you, remember me. Amen. God, you will be one of the wealthiest musicians. Amen. My problem is your husband will have issues with you traveling too much. You go with her. That's right. Amen. For you are glorious. Ah, let me. I am Mama Shadabaha. Linda, where is Linda? Come. You are the Lamb. Let me pray for all pregnant women here. Let me pray. I don't think God made me talk about, you, know, you see the, the revelation that I get, the state of pregnancy. I pray. Uh, you feel the anointing. I feel him. I feel him. I feel him. You are not even here because of you. God's presence will rest upon this child. You'll be sleeping and you begin to feel the presence of God on the child. Shh. Deborah, come. You will begin to prophesy because the child in your belly will begin to prophesy. And the prophecy you begin to give is the child speaking, but it's using your voice. There is going to be a major manifestation. Martin Lusaka, can someone stand behind here? It is going to manifest the prophetic anointing on this child. And your voice shall pick it up. And God will give you prophetic songs. This child will bring so much, uh, let me use the word lack to you. You will experience things in God because of this child. And the day the child will come out, the child will leave a deposit of God in you. You already have God in you, but I'm using this language for understanding. Lord, I'm touching your tongue to alter the inspiration that is on this baby and you shall begin to prophesy. Yes, that is it. Remain sadi as on the other eye car. The same way the baby in Elizabeth's womb leaped. <laughs> it's so interesting. Wow. It's amazing. No, pre pregnant people don't want to say much. But there is a correlation between them. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Listen. 
you need to close, okay? These children will be prophetic children. Prophetic children. Listen, do you see that we needed more time? Because now the anointing was increasing. And we had to close. Tomorrow come early. But the altars in your father's house that have been broken is what I'm excited about. Look at the presence of God is still on here. Before I go, I want to do something prophetic. I want to challenge. Yesterday we were praying. The team we met to pray from 9 to 12. And one of the things the Lord showed me, you see the presence is so strong on here. Just stand there, okay? And just connect to God. I'm even getting a name in my spirit for the baby. If you don't have a name, or if you already have a name, you will see if it correlates. <laughs> One of the things God said, he was putting money in our hands whilst we were praying. And we prayed for everyone. The revival that God will bring cannot reach the ends of the earth without money. The book of Zechariah said, my city shall spread abroad through prosperity. And I pray the prayer that God prosper your children. Because this is just the beginning. This is our first meeting ever, ever, ever in here. And it's not a bad attendance for the first day. Tomorrow this place is going to be packed. Sunday, if you don't come early, you might not get a place. Next time we might go to a bigger place. I believe God. But I want you, I want to enter into partnership with the Lord with you. I want to challenge you to sow a seed to support this. What you make happen for God, God will make happen for you. I'm going to stretch you. If you believe, come. If you don't believe, don't come. Don't ever feel pressured. But this is a step of faith that what the Lord revealed, he's going to do. I want to challenge 10 people to sow a seed of 700 pounds. Give me the anointing oil. If I be a prophet, the anointing of prosperity that makes men prosper will come upon you. Because you are doing this to support the kingdom. Come stand here for me. Come stand here quickly. If you can sow that seed of 700 pounds, come stand here. Anyone come in quickly. They said London people don't like, don't love giving, but it's not true. It's not this group of people. <laughs> Let's do this real quick. If you can sow a seed of 700 or 500 pounds, come quickly. Come quickly. Let me anoint you. Let's clap for those that want to come. Come, let me bless you. There are times you give out of faith. One of the grace God has given me, that anyone I pray for financial blessing, they experience it. So church, I want you to come forward. Let me pray for you. I want you to sow today. There is an anointing here. You've seen the tangible presence of God. If you cannot do 500, if you can do, as for 200, I want everybody to come. I mean, are you giving 500? Oh, clap for her. Clap for her. Are you giving what? 500. Let's clap for them. So you guys could give. If you want to give 500, come. 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 Two people. Let's get five people and let's go. Five people. Are you giving? The way you are standing there with such authority. Don't stand there like that if you are not giving. <laughs> Anyone want to give? If you want to give 200, come and, come and join them. Come here. Just come. Just see, your business will never be dry. There is coming a time, by the end of this year, you will not work for anybody again. You will work for yourself. Mark my words. Customers and clients will be too much that you will stop working. <sighs> Grace. In Jesus' name, come. Please, we have a swipe here. Just leave them, go swipe. The swiping is very important. Let them swipe into their destinies. If you have your cash, please put the giving option on there, okay? There is promotion for you in the medical field. <laughs> hey, put your 
yourself together, you, might, you have to own your own clinic. Are you planning to have one? Are you planning to have a clinic? Wow. God just approved it now. Have you spoken to me about it? Have you ever even spoken before? I saw you having your own clinic. God has approved it. This seed has activated something. Can you, $500, do you know how, how much it costs to build a clinic? God will honor you. Huh. Your sacrifice. You, are, ah, you have sacrificed so much. There is so much sacrifice is calling your name. And it is forming a cloud and releasing its rain. In Jesus' name, amen. It is done. Lynn, you can sit down. If you want to give 200, come quickly. Come. Anyone who wants to give 200 pounds, come forward. Come forward. Come. God bless you. Quickly, quickly, let's do this and close. Now that the prophetic is being activated, we have to close. Stand there. We don't need ushers in this one. Don't worry. Okay. I need seven people to give this seed. You feel God's presence, right? Bring your hands. Money cannot leave your hands. Money will not leave your hands. Money will not leave your hands. In the name of Jesus, your hands will attract money. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, anyone who wants to sow $100, 100 pounds, please come forward. If you want to sow 100 or 50 pounds, come forward quickly, quickly, quickly. Let's do this. I'm giving you the opportunity to give so you can be blessed. There is no harvest if there is no seed. There is no harvest if there is no seed. Let's clap for them as they come. Man, head to side. 150 pounds come forward. Put your hand on your chest. Put your hand on your chest. Father, hear the heart cry of your people. Hear the heart cry of your people. The heart cry of your people. Let burdens be lifted. Prayers be answered. Surprise them within the space of two weeks. Lord, let testimonies abound in their lives right now. In the name of Jesus. Let their debt be cancelled in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please, you can sow, you can sow by swiping. Or oh, please, are, are the giving options not on the screen? Do we have it? We don't, they don't see it. Those, those who are here must cash up, PayPal. Yeah, but we, do, the people in the room must see it and give it. Okay, wonderful. And the seed you want to give, come. Come and let me pray for you. Whether it's 10 pounds, whatever. Let me. Okay. God bless you. May the Lord remember you. In the name of Jesus. Listen. Nobody will come here with a sickness and live with a sickness. Your amen is weak. Nobody will come here with a sickness and do what? And live with a sickness. I promise you by the name of Jesus. And if you have a testimony, please make sure you share it. Tomorrow we will give room for testimonies. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless in Jesus' name. May God cancel disappointment from your life. You have gone through so much disappointment. Even in the area of your relationship. <laughs> God has remembered you. Wow. Cancel it. Are you married? Near marriage. Near marriage. I saw near marriage. Then the devil disappointed her. I cancel that. In the name of Jesus. Please, anyone who wants to sow any seed, come quickly. May the Lord bless you. Satisfy you with goodness. In Jesus' name. Priscilla, come. Yes. Mommy, you are blessed. How many kids do you have? Two. 
they will not disappoint you. Please. Oh, wow. wow. Ah, you should have let me finish prophesying my prophecy. They will not disappoint you. I see your kids bringing you joy. 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 That means that. And I know your, your son has brought you so much joy. You have not yet seen anything yet. I saw people were celebrating you because of your children. Like they said to Jesus, blessed is the womb that conceived them. That will be your portion. In Jesus' name. Keep praying for them. You are about to see glory. Hey, I won't be surprised. I'm seeing you entering into a president's um, office with your son. Hmm. We might come. Come. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Have the meeting bless somebody. <laughs> Mommy, put your two hands on, on his chest, on his heart. You will, I'm seeing you have entered into a president's office with him. And what you are saying in your heart is being established right now. And we have all, this is a public prophecy, we will see it. That Emmanuel Smith is, being, is, is, has, is having a presidential invite. Wow, greatness has been born in Jesus' name. Amen. It is done. This anointing. Ah! Mashata pakatopaya. Thank you, Lord. Her destiny should be released this, this conference. Tomorrow, come early. Please, come early. Mommy, you are blessed. Go, give. There is something about seed sowing that activates God's presence. Maybe, I pray that God will give you understanding into seed sowing. God will even touch your heart. Ah, this conference has blessed me. Let me even give 10,000 pounds. And do it. Come. Mommy, you are blessed. Mommy, you are blessed. Go. In Jesus' name. Let's do it quick. My time is up. This child, you have a great future. You have a long life too. <laughs> Come. Be blessed. God is giving you prophetic grace. You begin to have a lot of dreams. Your dreams will come to pass. In Jesus' name. I wish I had so much time. Priscilla, God is going to answer your prayers and heal wounds in your family. And heal wounds. So many people are hurt. God is healing them. And I see God is going to elevate you with a prophetic grace. <laughs> with a prophetic grace. Look at that. Take it in Jesus' name. Take it. Come. Satisfy you with his goodness. Amen. Have you been blessed? Yes. Please be on your feet. God will change your financial story. Amen. You'll be healed, though. Lift it. So it's dislocated, right? Put it down. Okay, okay, put it down. Put it down. Let me release these people and I'll pray for you. Have you been blessed, UK? Yes. Tomorrow, please invite someone. Amen? Amen. Tomorrow, please what? Invite, invite someone. Amen. I think the team and the pastors, there is food for us, okay? So, we go and feed our flesh after feeding our spirits. Amen. Lift your hands up. Prophetess, Pastor, Tony, come and bless the people of God. Yes. Let's welcome the woman of God. Hallelujah.
a very, very powerful woman of God. God bless you, everybody. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We thank you for your fire that you've released in this room tonight. And I pray and I hear the Lord say there will be a permanent work in the name of Jesus. In your life, in your spirit, in your mind, there has been an unlocking in the realm of the spirit. And I hear the Lord say you will go to new heights in the name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus that what has been deposited in this room will remain here in the name of Jesus and go to new heights in the name of Jesus. I pray that they will not remain the same in the name of Jesus. What you have put in everybody's spirit today, Lord God, will remain in their life in the name of Jesus. And I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord. And I believe you have broken the spirit of unbelief in the name of Jesus. I hear the Lord say, just as I go, that the Bible says that without faith it is impossible to please God. And I hear the Lord say that that spirit of unbelief is broken in the name of Jesus. I thank you for your word, Holy Spirit. We will not remain the same, Lord God. Bless the man of God, Pastor Seth, oh God. Keep him in the name of Jesus. Jesus, we come against all evil in the name of Jesus. Any evil reaction, it shall not penetrate on his life in the name of Jesus. I cover this house and this church in the blood of Jesus Christ. And as I prayed, I saw demons running out of here, running out of here permanently in the name of Jesus. And he who has started a good work in you will be faithful to complete it in Jesus' name. God bless you. Hallelujah. Have you been blessed? I want you to share the grace of God tomorrow, Pastor Richard is going to release the deliverance fire in this place. I'm telling you, if you have de friends who are demons, bring them. Hallelujah. It's going to be fireworks here. If you know a witch, bring that witch. Hallelujah. Oh, and if you are a witch to come, we will be delivered. Amen. We love witches. Jesus loves them. He will set them free. Uh, hallelujah. Let's, just, let's say the grace of God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. And the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Surely, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you.